start the match. The following contest is a no disqualification match. And it's for the TNW United States Championship. Undertaker about to make his way to the ring. We're live all the way in Universal Orlando Resort for this matchup in the Rock's hometown of Miami, Florida. Since this Universal Orlando Resort is in Florida, the Rock could have a slight advantage over Tornado Jones here tonight. And Phantom, what are your thoughts on The Undertaker as he walks, walks down that ring with the U.S. title in his hands? Undertaker walking down that aisle with a TNW US title around his waist as he's about to face Taz, the number one contender and a former member of the ECW Originals, which we just found out. Brock Lesnar has been signed to a back contract by the ECW Originals and brought Brock Lesnar to a new contract and joined that team after the interference in that tag team match. But let's not forget. Brock Lesnar will not be a factor later on tonight. As we're about, let's not forget at the Undertaker's matchup, we have the ECW World Tag Team Championship match against Mike Starr and Star Man in a tables match, or should I say, a tag team match for the gold. All the way back of January of 1993, Undertaker made one of the most impressive entrants, and you're looking and a legend, and a former Hall of Famer. No, a, a, a future Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah. And he was the only man ever. That right, that right you are, fam. Let's not forget, Undertaker has been defeated at WrestleMania by Brock Lesnar and he's probably pissed knowing that Undertaker is here or should I say that Brock Lesnar is here in TNW. Undertaker might have had it in his possession, but let's not forget, at the next pay-per-view event, we're going to see Undertaker and Kyle Behan go at it. Well, let's go to our ring announcer. Introducing the challenger, from the streets of Brooklyn, New York, Taz. And his opponent, from Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds, he is the TNW United States Champion. The Undertaker! Undertaker, the TNW United States Champion. He won that title back in our tournament by defeating The Rock. And let's not forget Chuck Norris is a former TNW World Heavyweight Champion after losing to The Rock for the gold. What are your thoughts on the matchup for The, for the Rock's match against Tornado Jones? Yeah, let's not forget, The Rock has a title defense against a luchador back in AAA wrestling or Lucha Underground who calls himself Tornado Jones. But let's not forget, The Undertaker is fighting off Taz one half member of the ECW Originals. And ECW lost and they perished 
right after their their loss against Tuesday Night War and the main event when Sting defeated ECW with The Undertaker and Kane. Right you are, Phantom. But let's not forget, Undertaker is getting so dominant right now by Taz, and Taz with a scoop slam, and Undertaker back up on his feet. And now going for that clothesline, but Taz ducked out of the way, and Taz with the clothesline of his own. There's a punch to the gut by The Undertaker with the reversal, and the, and the first striker in the WWE, and now in TNW, and now Taz going for another... That was like a push down scoop slam. And Undertaker again with a counter. And now went for that devastating flying clothesline. Undertaker on the top rope. He could be thinking just like, just like his brother, the flying clothesline off the top rope. And now a leg drop on Taz. And he's signifying for the choke slam. And Taz, fighting back with all he's got, interrupted the signal. And now a headbutt takedown by Taz. And a headbutt. Undertaker back up. And again with the headbutt by Taz. Undertaker back up. Going for the clothesline, but Taz stuck out of the way again. And Undertaker countered it. And he's signifying, signifying for the choke slam. And he's got him by the throat. Could he be thinking? Choke slam on the Undertaker. Or should I say, on Taz. Undertaker with a devastating choke slam. He's signifying the end could be near for Taz as he signifies for the tombstone. He's got the tombstone. Tombstone! Tombstone! And Taz went face first into the canvas by the dead man. And he's, and he's got him for the cover. This is it. One, two, three. It's over. Undertaker retains his title. You're right, you are, Phantom. But the honest part is, Undertaker dominated Taz as Taz was trying to come back from all that. And he had him in a tombstone pile driver. And that signified for the end as the dead man retains his title. And still, TNW, United States Champion, The Undertaker. Undertaker may be 22 and 1, but he's still champion in TNW history. But he's still 4 0 at WrestleMania 3000 after defeating Finn the Human. And folks, don't go away. Coming up next, we have a tag team matchup. Two of them set. The ECW World Tag Team Championship is going to be on the line next.